Hey, what's going on guys? It's Ryan and today I have another episode of the top five mods of the week. Now, hopefully you guys will enjoy the mods that I've picked out for this week. Coming in at our number five spot, we have the Dynamic Dungeon Loot Mod. Now, basically what this mod does is it changes all the loot systems and adds a whole bunch of new weapons into the game that you can get from these master chests here at the end of each dungeon that you complete. Now, as you can see, I got a whole bunch of new stuff, including a Nordic sword, and it goes by your level. I'm level 18 at the recording of this video, so I didn't get, you know, the best loot, but as you level up and as you progress through you know the story and level up higher you will definitely get more of the you know better weapons here I'm going through another dungeon and showing you another master chest I've actually got to pick this one it basically just adds a whole bunch of new weapons to the game there's a whole bunch of different colored swords now and there's a better chance of it dropping one rare item or two rare items um, I believe actually in the master chest there's one rare item in each dungeon so you'll get one of the rare items and there's a you know a percent chance that you'll get two rare items and that's where you're you know that's where the rareness comes in and that's where your chances come in so it just adds a whole bunch of new rewards into the master chest at the end of dungeons and it's a really cool mod in general and i'd recommend downloading it Coming in at our number four spot, we have the Daedric is Magic mod. Now, what this mod does is it changes the Daedric armor to look more like Oblivion's armor, and it adds a very red glow to it, and it looks really awesome, and it does remind me of the Oblivion armor because in Oblivion, the Daedric armor looked badass, and it was it was really cool looking, and it had a red glow such as this, so it just brings back those memories of Oblivion, and it looks really cool day and night, and you can wear this, and it'll make your character look even more badass, and I really like to review a armor mod and, or a weapons mod throughout each series because I know that you guys like to wear really cool looking armor and it even changes your weapons and arrows for the bow and arrow of the Daedric armor so it's a really awesome mod and it'll make you look really badass and go try it out. Coming in at our number three spot, we have the Cherry Standalone Follower. Now, this follower is a girl that you'll find in the Bean Barb in Riften. I'll show you guys a little bit of me running to Riften right now. As you can see, we are in Riften, and we're going to head to the Bean Barb. It's right across the bridge, first door, you know, and it's really easy to find. She should be on the top floor, and you can find her, and you can talk to her. Now, a little bit about her. After extensive training as a samurai, Cherry decided it was time to travel to a distant land called Skyrim, where word had spread of dragons. Don't let that pretty face fool you. They want a good fight and she's willing to give it to them. She has some spells, she has some healing and fast healing. Her perks is she's an agile defender, she's a lore, and she's an armsman. And she has an enchanted ebony bow of shock, 400 ebony arrows, blades armor, and two katanas, and some other stats. She's a combat warrior, she's a dual-wielding samurai, and uh, she can be married. And she's essential, so she can't be killed. So basically, this is all you're going to need in a follower, so she's a really cool follower, and it's a really awesome mod, and I'd recommend downloading it. Coming in at our number four spot, we have the Floating Market. Now this mod is really awesome and it's really easy to find. It's right by Riverwood. As you can see, Riverwood is right here and you'll come up this hill over here and we'll turn around and you go up and in between these two rocks here and there's a tree stump that you can just go into. There's a secret door and you can just walk right into it. Now this mod is phenomenal and I've never seen anything like this in my entire life. And basically it's just a market that is in this tree stump here in this secret area. And there's a whole bunch of exclusive weapons and armor that is can be found nowhere else in the game but here so this is definitely the place that you're gonna have to go if you want these weapons and armor and you can purchase them and you can sell them and I'll show you guys a little bit of these shops as you can see on the left there was a door there that just leads to a bed where you can sleep and that's pretty much it and there's some mannequins in that room too so there's nothing really big there but take a look at this we got some shops here we got some hanging lights and it's a really awesome place and you know the scenery is really nice and each store is unique in its own way there's a bookstore there's an ingredient store there's a store that just sells sweets wheat cakes and stuff like that there's a uh, there's two or three armor ones one that sells stuff for children in your house whether or not you have a boy or a girl in your house and it's a very awesome mod I'm just gonna give you guys a little bit of a tour and show you guys what exactly you can purchase because like I said there are exclusive weapons and armor and you know different things that can only be found in this shop so as you can see we are at the toy store technically for your child and as you can see there's bunnies and stuff like that there's different colored dresses and stuff like that that can't be found anywhere else in the game and as you can see we're going to go up to the treat table where there's a bunch of new treats and each one is unique as you can see there's a cupcake here and that looks really awesome there's a different kind of cupcake and each single piece of food that is in his inventory that you can buy is also exclusive and can't be found anywhere else in the game as you can see we have a chocolate biscuit and stuff like that and I'm just gonna scroll down the list and show you guys everything so these can't be found in the normal realm of Skyrim they can only be found in this market here so if you do want these treats you're gonna have to come to the market and it's a really cool thing that they've done here I've never seen anything like it you know there's so many 
many shops here there's you pretty much can buy and sell anything from here it even has a fast travel point so you can keep fast traveling back whenever you want to sell your goods so basically you won't have to go to any other general goods store ever again because the floating market will be your one-stop shop for everything so I'm just gonna show you guys a little bit more of what you guys can do here's the armor stand right here as you can see there's armor that you know can't be found anywhere else there's a lot of cool looking armor and cloaks that I've never seen before and uh, will look really cool for your character if you come and you purchase them from this market and uh, as you can see we're gonna walk away from this table and here is the weapons table this is my favorite table because it comes with some really badass looking weapons as you can see that first one looks amazing there's a whole bunch of different staffs and there's a lot of different swords that I've never seen and a lot of different designs for swords and bows and uh, you know it just adds a whole bunch of new stuff into the game and it's a really awesome mod and I'd really recommend downloading it Coming in at our number one spot, we have Tenebrae, I believe that's how you pronounce it. Now you're going to have to go through a little bit of Dawn Guard for this, and you're going to have to go into the Soul Cairn, and then go into the Reaper's Lair. As you can see, I'm showing you where the Reaper's Lair is. It's at the southeastern part of the map. It's very easy to find once you're in the Soul Cairn. And uh, you go inside, and you have to fight the Reaper, and uh, yeah, just as you can see, I'm showing you on the map where it is. And uh, once you defeat the Reaper, this sword should drop. Now, this sword is the most badass sword I've ever seen in my entire Skyrim playthrough. And anything and any cool mod that I've ever found has never been as good as this weapon mod here. And, and I'll show you guys exactly what I mean in a second. Let me just kill all these guys here. And once you kill the Reaper, the sword should drop right behind you. And it looks like it's actually part of the main quest, but it's actually not. It's just a little mod that they installed to give you this little sword here. And once you click on the sword, it should fall to the ground and you can pick it up. And then we should head back to Skyrim. And as you can see, it looks really badass. The sword is split into two parts. And if you do a power attack, you can actually fling a bunch of energy towards your enemies. And it, you can hit someone from pretty far away. And I'll show you guys exactly how much damage that does in a second, but I just wanted to show you guys exactly what the sword can do. It looks really awesome. I've never seen a sword that looked anything like this before. As you can see, I'm just attacking a few of the White Run guards, and it's totally destroying them. They had no chance. Uh, it's not an overpowered sword. I was playing on Novice whenever I recorded this, but it is very powerful, but not like po too powerful enough that it's overpowered and it'll ruin all the fun. So you can use this in all your playthroughs and stuff like that, and it'll be really awesome. And what I thought was really cool is at nighttime it changes as you can see I just flung another power attack at the ground and it created a vortex instead of the fire which it created during the day so during the night and day it's a different type of sword and it's a different type of energy so that's what makes this mod extremely incredible and I'd really recommend downloading it so that's pretty much it for this week's episode of the top five mods of the week hopefully you guys did enjoy and if you did I would appreciate it if you left a like and subscribe if you knew it helps me out a lot and if you have any new recommendations for mods that you'd like me to play or you'd like me to showcase in the next top five mods of the week be sure to leave them down in the comments and you can follow me on Twitter too and link me mods as well I'll leave my Twitter down in the description and you guys can recommend me mods there too and that's pretty much it hopefully you guys did enjoy and I will talk to you guys later